So after learning about all these wild edibles, I wanted to walk around my yard and see all the ones that existed here and then go down to the river and uh, find enough to make lunch or dinner out of. So let's start in the back alley, which is no place really to want to eat your food, but it's pretty cool that if it can exist. So I'm just going to walk around and point things out. Obviously dandelion greens, which are kind of the most famous one. Um, then we have lamb's quarters, which is really one of the mo most delicious ones. Um, you can eat the seeds as well as the as well as the leaves, and they kind of have a like a mild spinach-like flavor. And the leaves, I mean the uh, seeds, are almost like quinoa. Um, so next we have uh, wood sorrel, which is an which is this clover-like plant um, that has a really lemony flavor. It's a great garnish for a salad. What else we got? Milkweed. Milkweed, you can eat the stalk, um, but you what you want to do is you see the milk that comes out. You want to taste the milk of like pretty much every plant that you pick because it can be really bitter. But um, this is quite sweet. So you can just pull out the whole plant, but don't get rid of all the plants because they're good for butterflies and um, keeping away some of the pests in your garden. You have nettles back here, right next to the trash, so maybe you don't want to eat them. So yeah, I think that's like, right there, five different species. Just five different completely edible and quite delicious things that are right in the back alley behind my house. Uh, I think, let's go to my yard, I think there's probably a few more things. This you'll see all over the in the spring place, they are daylilies. Um, and it's like a relative of the onion and so forth and uh, probably discard the discard the top part and use this as a really kind of mild onion. You can um, eat it raw or you know chop it up and saute it. Here's that wood sorrel. There are ladies and there are babies and the things that I forgot. So here we have a whole stand of nettles. So we're gonna go in there and that's gonna be the main part of our uh, lunch. At this stage they shouldn't really be um, very stinging, but I'm kind of a wimp. So I'm going to just snip them off with scissors because I'd rather not get stung. So these are all um, garlic mustard. You don't want to pick right on the path because for obvious reasons there's dog pee and stuff like that. So here are all the things we picked up by the river and in the backyard. Nettles, lamb's quarters, wood sorrel, milkweed, garlic mustard, daylilies. So we're gonna make ravioli with nettles and daylilies with a broth. 
and then uh, some of these greens, fresh and sauteed on top. Um, and that's gonna be our lunch. First, we're gonna blanch the nettles and we're gonna make sure we keep the cooking liquid because um, a lot of the nutrients come out in the cooking liquid um, and so you wanna hold on to it and it's got it's nettle tea, it's got nice flavor. The milkweed, we're gonna blanch. You need to blanch it to get some of that milk out of it, which can be a little bit bitter. Um, this is the garlic mustard. Normally, you would pick, up all, pick off all the leaves. I'm noticing that the um, stock actually has a lot of garlic flavor. So we're gonna use this with the blanching liquid of the nettles and make a broth to hold our ravioli in. And we're gonna chop up the bottoms of this and saute it with that, with the nettles to make our filling for the ravioli. We're, we're making um, ravioli, so the filling is gonna be those lilies and the nettles, cheese, butter. And it'll firm up to the point where you're able to put it into your ravioli. It Milkweed. 